Hi everyone, Lewis and I'd like to welcome you to another video. And in this video, uh, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, a full Aweber campaign from start to finish uh, inside Aweber. Uh, and I know, uh, you know, stuff like this can get a little bit overwhelming and confusing. Uh, and I was in the same boat as you. Uh, and that's why I'm going to be showing you uh, how to set up a campaign uh, from start to finish. The first step you need to do is obviously you need to sign up for an Aweber account. So as you can see, I'm logged into Aweber uh, and you should come to a screen like this. Uh, if you're on a screen like this, then you're in the right place and you're ready to get started to create a list uh, inside Aweber. So uh, the first thing you need to do uh, is you need to click on Manage Lists at the top right hand corner. Once you click that, it's going to uh, come to a page where it has all of your lists that you currently have. Uh, you probably don't have any lists inside now, inside this, uh, because you've probably got a new account and you're probably only creating your first list. Uh, but once you've come to this page, you want to be clicking on create a list on the top right hand corner. Once you've clicked on that, it's going to, you know, it's going to come to a page and ask you uh, for some details about your company and stuff like that. Uh, and basically you just need to fill all of this out okay so basically the company name right you probably don't have a company name uh, but what I normally do is I just put my personal name in alright so basically all I'm going to do here is put my name Lewis Betts that's my name uh, and that's I normally do this all the time I normally put the company name as my personal name all the time and then it's asking for your company website. All right. So basically, if you don't have a website, uh, that's okay. Uh, if you're a part of a business opportunity, uh, or you have a blog, uh, or anything like that, uh, you can put the affiliate link in here, or you know, put your blog website in here. Uh, my blog website, my company website, as such, is LewisBets.com. All right. that's my blog and that's what I, I would put in when I create you know most of my lists alright because that is my personal website uh, and then it's going to come up with your address which should already be done uh, and then the sender name alright the sender name needs to be your name alright okay uh, the sending name needs to be your name is because people are requesting information from you when they opt into an email list, alright? They don't want to uh, receive emails from different people, alright? Uh, and then you got the sender email. Uh, if you remember, I did a video a couple, uh, a couple of days ago about, you know, getting a professional business email. Uh, after you've set up everything, you need to come back to this page, you know, if you get a professional email, you need to put it in here, all right? But if you've just got a Gmail account for now, all you need to do is, is put your sender email in there, and that should still work fine, all right? Uh, but, you know, the professional email just gives you, you know, better deliverability on your emails and stuff like that, okay? Uh, after you've done that, you just need to click next step, and it's going to take you to the next step, all right? And basically, this is where you list your name, all right? The way I like to list my name is, uh, I like to list it uh, congruent to what I am offering, all right? So basically, for, for an example, let's say I am offering a four-day boot camp, all right? A four-day training, se uh, training sessions. What I would do is I'd normally put my initials, all right, and then put four-day boot camp. I do this because, you know, when somebody opts into my list, I know obviously it's for the four day boot camp, and obviously it's easier, you know, it's just easier for you, okay, uh, where you've seen opt in for specific campaigns, okay. And then what you need to do is you need to do a list description, all right. 
Uh, basically, this is just a description of your four day boot camp, right? So basically, I'm just going to put something little in here. So, this four day boot camp will help newbie marketers. Uh, this four day boot camp will help newbie marketers get started on the right path within the make money online niche. Okay, you know, something short, short and sweet that you know that's congruent with your, you know, the four day boot camp. Once you've done that, you click next step. Uh, and this part is to confirm your subscription, all right? Uh, all you need to do now is approve message and create list, uh, but I will be showing you uh, a specific setting inside Aweber where you switch off the confirmed opt-in, all right? So just approve message and create list. Now that list is created, all right? Uh, if you look at the top right hand corner, you got this little drop down, you know, and you got the four day boot camp. All right. So that is your list, you know, completely set up. All right. Uh, the next thing you need to be doing is you need to be going on list options. All right. Uh, I just want to edit, you know, a couple of things inside here. Uh, you know, so you don't have no difficulties like, you know, in the future. All right. So basically, everything here is absolutely fine. You've already, you know, filled this out before. Uh, but what you do need to be clicking on is confirmed opt-in on the left-hand side, right? Uh, and now this has come to the confirmed opt-in bit where we just was, all right? Uh, and personally, for me, I would switch this off, all right? Basically, what a confirmed opt-in is is when somebody opts into your list. They've actually got to confirm it uh, via email uh, in their inbox, all right? Personally, I don't like that. Uh, when somebody opts in, you know, uh, they've opted in. That is it, all right? So basically, you just want to be switching this off, switching the confirmed opt-in off. Uh, and basically, when somebody opts in, they're on your list, you know, immediately, all right? Once you've switched that off, just click save settings. Right, so that is the list part of the site created. All right, uh, now I want to show you how to, you know, add a follow up and also how to broadcast an email. So, first things first, make sure you are on the right list. All right, I've done this so many times, you know, and it's very frustrating. Uh, I've created a list and then I wanted to add a follow up to this list, but all of a sudden, you know, I changed my list and I was adding the emails into a different list. All right. Uh, so that's just a little, you know, a little warning. Just make sure you are on the right list. Uh, once you are on the right list, you want to be coming to messages, okay, and going on legacy follow up series. All right. And basically what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you how to, you know, add a follow up uh, to you know, to this list. All right. So basically when somebody opts in, they'll receive a follow up message, you know, immediately, just like that. All right. So if you click on drag and drop bit email builder, <coughs> it's going to come to a page like this. You know, it's going to ask you for a subject line you know, and the email itself, all right, you know, it's like if you're sending an email to, you know, a friend or relative, you know, from Hotmail or Gmail, it's exactly the same, but, uh, you know, this is for the follow-up series. Uh, I have, uh, you know, an email template already, you know, set up, and basically, all you're going to do is, you're going to fill this out, subject line, you know, Simple, uh, and then obviously the text. You know, maybe this would be pitching your, 
you know, your online business or your four day bootcamp, for example. All right. So if I copy this, copy, paste, and then it then it's gone in there like that. Okay. You know, and you can spend time, you know, making it a little bit fancy, making it stand out to the prospects that's going to be, you know, opting into your lists. All right. Uh, but I like this at the minute. Uh, you can literally, you know, put links in there, for example, to your four day boot camp. All right. Uh, and basically, you click OK uh, and it's done. All right. So once you filled all this out, it's done. And all you need to do now is click on save and exit at the bottom right hand corner. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, uh, but it will be at the bottom right hand corner. Uh, just save and exit. Now, now I have saved that, uh, I need to go on send options and then I want to add to follow up series, okay? Uh, and then all you need to do now is add to follow up series. That's how simple that is, all right? Uh, once that is added, all right, when somebody opts into your list, they will receive this email immediately, all right? Uh, and that's how powerful, you know, autoresponders are. They send out emails on your own behalf, okay? Uh, the last thing I want to show you is, is I want to create a broadcast, all right? Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this on the different list, but it's exactly the same, all right? Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So, first thing you need to do is create a message. Drag and drop email builder. And again, it comes to this exact same page once again. And all you gotta do is fill this out. Once you do this a few times, uh, guys and gals, you know, this will come you know, it will get easier for you, all right? Uh, I actually got self-taught. I self-taught myself on most of things like this. Uh, and once you've done it a few times, you know, you can, you know, you can just do it like that, all right? You know, I'm just going to make this a little bit, you know, a little bit better. You know, you can edit stuff like this, guys, you know, you know, change fonts, you know, stuff like that, uh, you know, make it fancy, make it stand out for your prospect, all right? Uh, and basically what I'm going to do now, now I've, you know, edited my email, uh, I'm going to click save and exit, okay, and then send options, and then I'm going to put schedule a broadcast all right uh, basically what a broadcast is uh, once you send out a broadcast it will literally send out immediately or you can schedule a broadcast uh, but when I create broadcasts I normally send them out straight away all right so now I've created my email all I need to do now is just click send message now okay uh, and that's just going to send out the message to my email list all right so uh, i hope i covered everything you know with inside aweber from creating your lists adding follow-ups and you know creating a broadcast all right uh you know it can get a little bit overwhelming uh, and a little bit confusing but this is why i wanted to do this video all right uh, if i if you feel like i've gone a little bit too fast you know, you can skip back, you know, and if you have any questions, you know, put a comment below this video. I'm happy to, you know, help you out, all right? Uh, again, I'm sorry if I went a little bit too fast, uh, but that's how I do videos. Uh, I, I hope I haven't gone too fast, uh, but I hope I covered everything inside this video. Uh, but before I go, I just want to, you know, 
get into uh, you know te uh, to, uh, show you uh, what business opportunity I'm a part of all right uh, I teach people uh, how to make money online uh, in this inside a legit business opportunity uh, I believe this company is going to change the masses if it's something you're interested in if it if you need a product to promote and you need to learn how to make money online uh, you know as as well as earning uh, I believe this is for you all right so if you're if that's something you're interested in click the link below all right uh, and that's not just only you're not just gonna get that all right if you become a part of my team you know you're gonna have me as as a sponsor and I'm there to help you you know day in day out all right if you're if I feel like you're committed I am there to help you all right so if it's something you're interested in you know just click the link below uh, and if you do get in you know I will send you uh, a welcome email and I will contact you immediately all right so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope I covered everything in this video uh, it's a very long video but once you've got through it once and you've done it a few times uh, you'll be just fine. Alright, this is Lewis Bet signing out uh, and I'll speak to you soon.